It's been a while. For the only reason of that I've been very stressed lately and my luck has officially ran out and the only karma that I'm getting is bad karma. So we are making this video right now because right now I'm in a good mental headspace and I'm in a good karma space so please let's just keep it that way. Because I'm trying. I'm really trying. But hey, how are you today? What is up y'all? It's your motherfucking girl. It's me. Today we're talking about cameras. Should I be the one talking about this? No. But am I going to be talking to you about this? Yes, I am. Why? Because I want to. And I saw a really cute video and I'm like, why shouldn't I do it? Even though I have no experience or no prior knowledge of it. Why not? Today we are talking about the different cameras that I use. I have no prior knowledge of it. I don't know how to explain these things. So I'm going to explain it the best way that I can, aka my language, Talia language. Yeah, let's go. So first things first, it's kind of obvious, is a phone camera. I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This was probably, if I didn't have like a camera to record, I would probably use this phone because the quality on this camera is just incredible. You have the option to do either 4K, HD, SD, shit like that. And it also has these other numbers. I don't know what it means. It says like 30, 24, shit like that. I don't know what it means. Like I said, I'm not an expert. Okay, so let's go in to the next camera. The next camera is the one that I'm actually recording on right now. It is the Canon M50. I got this as a Christmas gift two years ago right before COVID hit so it was actually like a good thing that I got it sooner. Um, I was actually saving for this camera but my Nana surprised me and just bought it for me um, because it was super hard for me to save my money because I wasn't getting paid that much when I was working for the university so she surprised me with this camera. This is by far the camera I'm going to have the longest for probably the rest of my life unless something happens to it. nothing will happen to it okay the Canon M50 is a camera uh what the fuck oh that's why it is a regular camera I'm currently recording on it it has different options of types of recording it is actually very small. I thought it was going to be super big when I first got it, but it's actually really tiny. It's still a little bit big to be a vlogging camera, but I usually use it mainly for my vlogging, for my video making, and it's super high quality. Um, even the pictures are really high quality. The one thing that I do like the most about this camera is that it has the option to connect your phone to it so that you can get your photos straight from the camera onto your um, phone. If you're out and you don't have access to your computer right now or anything like that which is my favorite part so if you want to invest in a camera I would say get this one first because it does utilize all different types of options of pointing and shooting taking pictures as well as making good quality videos I think this is the camera that a lot of youtubers tend to use nowadays um, I think that's why I got it because I'm heavily influenced by influencers for some fucking reason i'm 21 years old and i'm influenced by people who's probably younger than me i really like this camera i'm really glad that i got it um shout out to nana for getting me this gift god i would say 10 out of 10 100 recommend if you're looking for cameras get this one period i wanted to get an old school camera for this summer because like i said i'm heavily influenced by other people and the retro camera thing is back in and i've always wanted to have one and always wanted to shoot with one but everybody thought it was weird but now that it's a trend i can finally shine <laughs> so this is the sony handycam so this is the camera she's a little bit dinged up because we've had this for years we've had this since i've been playing volleyball in middle school so she's kind of old 
SD card is at the bottom over here. You can use any SD card. It currently doesn't have one in it because I'm using it right now and my other one is uploading on my computer for another video that I'm trying to edit and make. I have been a busy girl this Sunday, this morning. So, and the battery, you can pretty much find any kind of battery online and it usually works. This one isn't even the battery from Sony. Um, but since it's an older camera, it's a little bit, probably a little bit harder to find or it might be a little bit more expensive. This used to be my mom's camera. I don't even know where she got it from. I don't know how much it costs, but she said I could use it and she said I could have it. So I'm using it to the best of my ability. Next thing is actual straight up cameras, no video. And they're retro cameras. Retro cameras, okay? I used to use disposable cameras because I loved film. I like I have been in at a diehard retro old camera user since I was since I was born pretty much. For Christmas this year I wanted a reusable dispo a reusable camera, point and shoot camera because I was tired of using disposables because it was such a waste of plastic and it was not sustainable. Y'all already know me. Save the motherfucking planet. So I asked specifically for the Kodak because it was just cheaper. So I got the Kodak M35. I got it in yellow or my family gave it to me in yellow because actually I really do love yellow a lot. It's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. I have been using this so much. I had three rolls of film that I've been holding on to since Christmas um, or since I was back in Vegas and I haven't gotten to develop it yet because I thought it was going to be really expensive. Yeah, that's pretty much my point and shoot camera. Love her. In love with her. Always will be in love with her. Can't wait to get my film i think it's almost done i'm not sure but lastly we are at the polaroid camera this is my polaroid 600 one step flash camera she is very bulky she's very thick like me and i actually got her at this corner store when i was working with my mom at her old job and we were going to get panda express walked into the store, saw this, they thought it was broken, so they gave it to me for five dollars. I motherfucking stole that bitch pretty much, okay? It only, the only thing, it sucks since it's, it is an older Polaroid, it only takes color 600 film, and that's the more expensive one. I don't know why it's more expensive. Pretty much all you have to do is you have to get, the only way for this to work is for you to get the Polaroid film for this camera because it's built in battery. So, Pretty much what you do is you pop the top, there is a hole right here, you point at it, and then you use this button, this red button right here, to point, and the green light right here indicates that it's on and that it's working. You also have the option to change the length of the film. I just keep it on the 4 inch to infinity. The four inch to infinity because this one I don't think it really matters and I don't do four feet away I do like selfies and close up and it actually works really good um I haven't used this camera for a while because I didn't have the film because the film is so expensive and it was always sold out and the other thing that sucks since it is a retro camera and I have to use current film that's made in production right now they don't do up to 10 they only do up to eight films per roll per Polaroid container I don't know why, but that's what they do. This is probably the best investment I've ever made. I bought this camera, I think four years ago. So this camera's pretty old. Um, I've used my Polaroids for so much things. Um, like this camera has been utilized very well. It is my favorite any type of Polaroid. I've always wanted a big Polaroid camera that gave me the actual original type of Polaroid films. This is my baby right here. I'm never getting rid of her. I'm sorry. This is mine forever and ever and ever. Okay. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some idea of like what kind of cameras you might want to get into. Like I said, I do not have any photography knowledge. I don't know what I'm doing. These are all personal opinions. So on that note, take what you want from it. Take nothing. Take everything. I don't really care. 
because I just wanted to make this video and I thought it'd be really fun and it was actually really fun. <sighs> so on that note, I'm gonna say goodbye and I hope you guys have an amazing night, day, week, whenever the fuck time you guys are watching this. But I'll see you guys the next time I see you guys. So I'm gonna go. Bye!